Hi fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday guys. Today a special dual unboxing. Before I get started with the cool fish in these two boxes, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button, figuratively, and then gently boop the notification bell. And then when we're done, check out MichaelSurgeon.com. Uh, still shipping, still should be okay with my packing and so on and so forth. As long as you are going to be there to take the boxes in when they show up, and they're not going to sit outside in, in uh, sub 32 degree weather for, you know, six hours, then you can't blame me. So anyway, let's move on. Dual unboxing. Grab a snack. Let's do this. I have a small box and a big box. Oh my God, this is heavy. All right. Let's do the small box. So a subscriber of mine who lives out in Washington said, hey, Mike, well, let me, let me start over. Let me put the man knife away so I don't cut myself. So what happened was I put a post on uh, my Facebook channel, Michael's Fish Room, uh, looking for guppies. I'm really looking for black Moscows and blue diamonds because I have a bunch of black Moscow, because I have a bunch of black Moscow boys, but I don't have many girls. As a matter of fact, I don't have any adult girls. I have some juveniles that hopefully over the winter will grow out and I'll have plenty, but I'm always looking for more stock, more genetics. Also, I had a great line of blue diamonds and unfortunately I got lazy and they kind of faded away. And while they're, the tank has bluish fish in them, they're not blue diamonds anymore, they're really mutts. Spectacular mutts, mind you, but still mutts. So I'd like to get that line back. So I put a post out looking for guppies. And a bunch of my subscribers said, hey, I've got this, or I've got this, or I've got that. Now, I don't typically like to trade because I'm trying to run a business. And I'm telling you now, I'm doing this for the money. So I want to buy things cheap at wholesale and sell them at retail. That's how I roll. I put the time in, I put the money in, I have the website. If you have fish and you want to try to sell to me, shoot me an email, I'd be happy to entertain offers. But I'm telling you, I'm cheap and easy. Anyway, it's a whole nother video, ain't it? So, uh, so one of my guys, one of my subscribers said, hey Mike, I have these guppies. You know, are you interested? Eh, what else you got? I got these guppies, I got these guppies. Long story short, we worked out a deal. Um, he told me what he sells them for to his local fish store, so that's retail. So then I would give him retail credit for my store. So we worked out a deal. Um, he doesn't normally ship fish though, so he said, let me ship the fish to you. If everything works out good, then you can ship me your fish, and that's fine. So we'll open the small box first, because he's that's him. I don't know if he wants me to mention his name. I get kind of weird like that, so I'm not going to. Um, but you know, he's been a subscriber for a while, and he's bought fish from me. Ooh, a note! Let's see what the note says. Nice business cards. Hi, Michael. I hope the fish have arrived safe and healthy to your fish room. These are the Microf Sunset Cobra hybrids I've been breeding. Enjoy breeding them, and let's get them out there coast to coast. All the best, Matt. So Matt has a business card. I didn't really know this. Slippery Fish Aquatics. Pretty cool looking logo. To, hold on, probably can't see that. Pretty cool looking logo. And uh, it's slipperyfishaquatics at gmail.com. That's slipperyfishaquatics at gmail.com. Matt the Guppy Guy. That's pretty cool, I like that. I like the personalized note too. I'm gonna, no I'm not. So we got the styrofoam. We got the heat pack, which is still hot, very nice. And of course the material, I probably sent him this. So we have, I can't tell if they're male. They, he told me the females are spectacular and they kind of look like males, but I think there's a pair in there. No, that's two boys and four females. So two trios I got. And the females do look pretty nice. Now, of course, they're stressed from shipping. I just opened them, as you saw, live and direct. 
So uh, we're gonna throw these bad boys in a tank. We're gonna get all the insulation off as I'm doing that live on the camera. We're gonna put them in this tank up here. Let them temperature acclimate. Then we're gonna save this box because as I said, I'm cheap and I'll reuse this box, at least the insides. So if you order fresh from me and it looks like the box has been reused, it's because I'm all about recycling. That was a box that just fell. Oh, that had a note in it too. Anyway, heat pack, still warm. Very nice, Matt, thank you so much. I'm gonna keep your note too. All right, this is my buddy, Doug. Doug is Boulder Run Guppies. Boulder Run Aquatic, sorry, on Facebook. Um, I've gotten beautiful fish and plecos from Doug before. I ordered some guppies from him. I ordered some plecos from him. Uh, great guy, uh, could really use the money. So, you know, I told him, next time you have plecos for sale or guppies for sale, shoot me an email and we'll make a deal. Man knife, gotta be safe. That's opening music. Did you see me almost cut myself? Almost did it again. This box is packed to the gills, guys. And that's not even a fishy joke. That's the truth. It, it's packed so much he had to add an extra layer. Another personal, I love the personalized notes. I'm gonna have to start doing it. Yeah, right. Thank you. Oh, we can read the paper. Wow, the packing job is spectacular. Everything wrapped in paper, labeled, seven albino plecos, seven albino plecos. Dark purple Moscow trio, looking forward to those. Eight albino plecos, wow. Seven albino plecos, that's a lot of plecos I bought. Hawaiian Snake Trio. Medusa Trio. Hawaiian Snake Trio. Dark Purple Moscow Trio. Wow, he really packed the bejesus out of this box. He pack? Not warm. All right, folks, I'm gonna unwrap these, get them uh, temp acclimating in their tank, and I'll be back uh, after I plop and drop, and so I can show you them in the tank. All right, guys, do me a favor. Stand by, refresh your beverage if you need to, heat up your snack if you need to, and I'll be right back. Hey, fishy folks, I just want to show you, um, these are breather bags, so you can't float them. If you float them, you can suffocate the fish. They let um, oxygen in and carbon dioxide out, I think. That's how it works. Um, Doug did a great job packing them. Unfortunately, I did have a bag that didn't make it. Looks like maybe one died and polluted the water. Um, but I don't really think that's a function of shipping. It's one of the best packaged boxes I've ever seen. It's probably, it's definitely better than my packing. I suck at packing. Um, so I'm gonna plop and drop these. You don't need to watch that. I've shown you many plop and drops. If you don't know what the plop and drop is, I'll put a link in the description to one of my videos about plopping and dropping. And uh, so let me get these out of the bag and then I'll open the guppies and do the same. So I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, we're back. It's the next morning. These are the first fish I opened, the ones I got from Matt. You can see they're all kind of hiding in the back. And there's one pretty nice ginormous female up front. And uh, these are the Sunset Cobra Mosaics. I have taken many people's advice and started labeling the tanks so I know what's in there. I know what they're called. Hopefully I won't stumble on my words. Um, yeah, the plan is to uh, breed these and sell them on the website. Hopefully in the spring when uh, shipping will pick up again, we will uh, we'll have quite a few to sell and be on the website. Uh, just a warning, the fishing was a complete disaster. You know, I have my meds still out. I have the plop and drop bucket. I have an order I picked up from Lisa at Super Cichlids. Uh, on Sunday this week, I was in their brand new facility helping them with uh, 
with some shelving and we talked a little bit about uh, what they're doing and they asked some advice and they're super duper people, supercyclets.com and uh, I wanted to help, so I did. Workbench is also a disaster. We have some boxes from shipments I've got. We have some boxes for shipments I'm, I have to send out. And uh, so just a complete disaster. All right, fishy folks, I didn't show you this unboxing. Uh, it was sort of done in a hurry because the fish came a day late after a snowstorm and uh, my family didn't see them outside on the porch, so they sat outside for like six hours in the low 40s. So uh, I got these from Keith Kalinowski. Kalinowski, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Keith is from uh, upstate New York and runs uh, KLE, let me double check. This is his pretty cool logo. Yeah, KJE Aquatics. And there's his number, give him a call. Keith does plants and uh, some killies, I think. I'm not sure he's still in the guppy game. Thing is getting out, but I did Keith a favor, uh, helping out a friend, and he felt it necessary to pay me in guppies. So he's had these steel nebulas I've been interested in a while. They're slightly different strain than the steel nebulas I have, which is fine. They look spectacular. Now, here's what happened. He sent me quite a few, and I had, um, because of the snow and the delay of me leaving it outside, I lost about half the fish he sent me. Not his fault at all, completely weather-related. And um, there were some fry in the bags. There's still some fry alive. But uh, we have a disproportionate amount right now of males and females, so once they go through quarantine, I'll probably separate them. I mean, there's quite a few back there still. I gotta count to make sure, but uh, it's a great looking guppy. Keith's a great guy, has great prices. Check him out uh, on Facebook and uh, give him a call if you have any questions. All right, fishy folks, these are the Hawaiian snakeskins. And um, I didn't really get a good look at what these look like on the, the video that uh, Doug sent me, um, but they sounded pretty cool and I haven't ever seen them before, so I decided to give them a try. Of course, the juveniles and females look plain as heck, but uh, there's a male back there if you can see it. It's sort of like a, a, a cobra guppy um, or a grass guppy. Um, they're spectacular. I hope you can see the, the colors. I mean, the colors are just gonna come out as they get more used to their home. There's a big female uh, with a great shaped tail, blue tail, and the male is red, which isn't unusual. Of course, there's plecos in this tank too. Gotta breed for profit, folks. Gotta breed for profit. All right, moving on. These are the Medusa guppies. And um, not so sure why they, they're called that, but I had a hard time seeing the, the male this morning in here. Oh, there's a male. Nope, there's a female. So you're not gonna be able to see what the male looks like yet. Yeah, now we're in focus. So I'm just looking for the male. There's the male, if we can focus in on it without glare, which might be impossible. Great film work by Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Sorry guys, can't catch the mail yet. Maybe we'll come back. All right, last strain of guppy, dark purple mosaics. Exactly what you think, nice clean tank. Uh, there's one, can you see it okay? I hope so. It's basically, uh, looks like a black Moscow, but it's purple. Um, and it's got a little pattern in the tail. It's quite spectacular. And then of course I got plecos. There's a poop ton of plecos in here. Um, even though I lost the bag, I still have quite a few. We'll be growing these bad boys out and in a couple weeks they'll be big enough to sell. I also gotta get some, uh, some wood in this tank. I don't have any wood. I'll be ordering some wood probably from uh, Greg Jones at my aquarium box. And uh, we'll get some wood in here for them to chew on. All right, fishy folks, that's it for the unboxing spectacular. Look at some new mutts I have. I got these from Mike. 
um, the Pleco guy. <laughs> and uh, of course, we'll have a, oh, Super Red Pleco's growing out. Actually, there they are. And there's Chewy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Have a great uh, Thanksgiving over the United States. And if you're in England, ha ha. All right. Bye, guys. Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. I think I gotta I fix the camera. Thought it was set. Stand by. That's better. All right, folks. I'm gonna unbag. I'm gonna unbox the. I'm gonna do something. All right. What's next? These fish I, ha I didn't show you. They are um, steel nebula guppies. And uh, they were sent to me by, yeah. All right, what else? Where else do we put fish? Down here. Here are the Hawaiian snake skins. Now, I wasn't quite sure what these were gonna look at, what these were gonna look like. Um, Doug sent me some videos and it was hard to see these guys, but they sounded really pretty, so I got them. And they are, they are spectacular. I think there's also a blue variety in here. Uh, I saw a male yesterday. In fact, I, I saw the blue male first, and then I saw that female or that that red male, and I was like, "Wait, did I mix them up?" But no, they're maybe that's what the female looks like with the blue tail. There's some good-looking guppies, though. Some good-looking guppies. Apparently, that wasn't focused, so I'm an idiot.